Good morning everyone and welcome to Budapest in Hungary. This is going to be a four day vlog over Easter weekend um, and I'm here with one of my best friends ever, Kathy. So we're gonna have a super fun girly like Instagrammy weekend um, and we're starting off today going to the Sejeni? sure I nailed that, um, baths to obviously do the whole spa bath experience and we're also going to the Gellert baths tomorrow so we're doing double baths in like full Budapest style but first we're gonna stop by at a super cute brunch cafe. Guys our apartment is in here I'll show you later but look at our gorgeous little courtyard. Oh my gosh we really lucked out with this place. I will link it in the description. So there's a little kitchen in here which has everything that you need. But the main event is this amazing, huge living room with massive high ceilings. This is the view I showed you earlier out into like the super cute courtyard. TV, internet, etc. There's a double bed here. Then there's the bathroom, which is nothing spectacular, but very much does the job. And then the main bedroom, which is gorgeous. This huge, huge room. And out here is pretty much the main street. Just there is one of the big main roads with St. Stephen's Basilica on. So it's a little bit noisy if you're a very light sleeper and these curtains don't entirely do their job. So I have an eye mask, which has been amazing. But apart from that, 100% would recommend this place. Sad little breakfast. <laughs> this is actually really nice though. <laughs> you don't know the rules! So we just went to Vintage Garden Bistro for breakfast. We didn't get there until maybe after 11 is when they stopped doing breakfast. So we had a really short, like there wasn't many things on the menu. So you should definitely get there a bit earlier. And definitely you need to make a reservation because we were sat inside and outside is like the really cute bit. But if you want the Instagram spot, I mean, it's the place, but you need to reserve and get there a little bit earlier for the full breakfast menu. Our breakfast was a little bit sad, but still actually very delicious. And everything here is so cheap. So I think we paid, we paid like 10 pounds ish each. We had a drink, a couple of bits of food. So it was reasonably expensive, but it's like a very Instagram place so I expected that but now we're getting a taxi which costs one pound um, on the Bolt app which is like an uber thing all the way to the bus Well, we have arrived at the baths. We've got our towel, which you can bring your own, but we rented ours, it's like two pounds. Um, the ticket price is about 15 pounds, which I personally think is a bargain. Um, you need to bring your own flip-flops because it's compulsory to wear like sandals. Um, and obviously it's super busy now. I think if you come at like opening time, then it's much emptier, but we wanted to have a lie and have brunch. So here we are and it looks so pretty and it's such a nice sunny day for it. So we've, we've snuck up the steps to get to this bit up the top with these amazing pillars. It's really cool up here. I think it might technically be VIP, but no one's kicked us up yet. We've got all the Instagrams. So in my opinion, this is the best shot to get like an Instagram of the blue water. And now we're gonna go down and get pictures in the water. And then we're gonna put our phones and the camera away and just enjoy a nice relaxing morning. So this is where you change if you get a like, locker instead of a cabin. The cabins look nice, but I really don't think you need it. So I would recommend saving money on that and just get a locker. That's gonna be all for now. I'm gonna go enjoy the spa. See you in a bit. So we just finished in the baths. If you were like a relaxing spa kind of person, you could totally spend all day there. Um, but we don't have very long in Budapest, so we've got lots of other things that we want to see. Um, it was really fun after the bits that I filmed outside, which is the most famous part. We also went to all the inside bits. Um, so there's something like 15 or 20 little miniature baths inside, um, and they're all different temperatures, so you can kind of try out different temperatures. And then there's some steam rooms, which are my favourite because they're all different scents, and I think the scent might change they had like a menu of what the different scents are gonna be um, yeah there was one that was kind of like raspberry tea and um, that was really good so I was doing the steam rooms and then going in the plunge pool which is really cold so you can do like the hot and cold um, so that was very entertaining um, I really enjoyed doing that and generally I would highly recommend it it was quite busy and I'm sure if you went on a weekday in the morning it would be much less busy but I don't really mind it just means it's fun and it's popular and everyone was having a nice time everyone was very friendly um, so yeah you got to do the spa and tomorrow 
we're gonna do Gallet's bar so you can see the other one. But now we're gonna walk back into town. So we're just going past the park on the way and there's a big like trampoline area and this river you can do pedalos. This is a really cute park to spend a few hours. We've had a little change of plan. We're going to this restaurant to eat because it looks so nice. Yeah, that was my title section. Okay. Excellent choice. Excellent lunch. Very good food. A little bit expensive, but my salad was like 13 euros, so I still think that's totally fine. It was very fancy on the lake. Highly, highly recommend. And now we're going to go to Hero Square. check out the ruined bars. I've heard that you should check them out in the day as well because you can it's such a different vibe to in the evening so we're going to come back tonight because we're going on a bar crawl. Not Ray Louise but I'm sure it'll be a laugh. Um, but yeah first this is the most famous one. It's a simpler search. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, and we're going to go have a look inside. <laughs> recommended from some other people we're not gonna eat there right now but if you are around the ruin bars this is a great spot to eat there's also another version of the food truck park but vegan only so we've been walking all around exploring the Jewish quarter the synagogue and the library were closed so we're gonna save them for another day and now we are going to get ready for our night out our bar crawl tonight and I'm not gonna take my camera but I will probably do a little bit of footage on my phone if we go anywhere particularly cool um, so I'll see you guys in a bit. bright and early for today's adventure for day two in Budapest. Um, last night we went out on the pub crawl, like bar crawl, um, and it was really good fun. There was 120 people in the group, which is insane. Um, and there was a couple of guides who were like making sure everybody got to the next location. Um, and it was really fun. Everybody was very friendly to us. We made lots of new friends um, and the music was really good. Having been living in Spain, I've been really missing just like normal English like basic pop music and that seems to be what they play here so there was lots of like Beyonce I think they played crazy in love in every club that we went to we went to like three or four different places they all played crazy in love just in like the half an hour that we were there um so it was all that kind of stuff that we like like Rihanna Drake Beyonce Justin Bieber all that kind of stuff so the music was really excellent um I was surprised how many of them were like clubs rather than bars. So they all had dance floors, which was really fun. Um, the only one that didn't really have a dance floor was Elato Kurt. Um, and then we did try and get into Simpler to finish off the night, but the queue was like all the way down the block. So I'm really glad that we went to that in the daytime so that we had seen that one because in the nighttime just would have been too hard to get in. Um, but today we are up at nine o'clock, ready to go, um, because we are going to the Gallet Baths, which I am very excited about. <laughs> That's where we're going. So we have arrived at Gellert Spa. It looks super beautiful. And I just wanted to say you definitely don't need a cabin here because they have these little like cubicles inside the lockers. Um, I guess maybe if it was busy you'd struggle to get one, but apart from that you have a private changing area, so definitely no cabin. Also I think I saw a sign saying no filming, so might be incognito mode from now on. This one is 
slightly more expensive, but so far it's way less busy, so I guess maybe it's less popular. It's definitely like less of a famous one, but the tiling, oh my gosh, obsessed. to Shazeni from yesterday is definitely much quieter like maybe we're a bit earlier today and it is a Sunday but it seems much more peaceful and kind of more classy there's no stag do's there's not many kids it's more of like a relaxing spa whereas yesterday was like a tourist attraction and it was beautiful but this has outside and inside so I feel like if you can only do one maybe do this one but yesterday is so iconic I don't know it depends what you're looking for yesterday had a bit more of like a party, sociable, touristy vibe, whereas this is more of like a relaxing day spa and it's more old fashioned. It's got the tiling for the um, inside in the blue one. So both are very beautiful, but I'm really happy we had time to do both. So right opposite the Gellert Spa, there is the hill up to the Citadella, which apparently has a really amazing view. And Google says it's 15 minutes walk up. So we'll see. We made it to the top took almost exactly 10 minutes so yes definitely worth doing let's check out the view it really reminds me of Paris the way there's like no tall buildings in Paris it's like this and there's just the Eiffel Tower like sticking out beautiful so we were just walking along the river from the um, citadella to get to the castle and we've stumbled upon the cultural center is having some big like Easter Sunday concert and there's food trucks and this whole building looks beautiful so I would definitely recommend coming to check it out even though the Easter concert won't be on this market looks like semi-permanent and this building is beautiful so definitely a good accidental find Finally gonna get to try Langos. The queue is crazy, but I'm sure it will be worth it. Finally got Langos. We went for just cheese because I'm kind of allergic to garlic and they normally put garlic on the bottom, but you can get it with all different toppings, including sweet ones. Let's see how it is. It actually quite reminds me of Makitsa in Bulgaria. It's kind of like a donut, but savory. It's good. I think it would be good with sauces on and definitely the sweet ones. Add chocolate to anything. Excellent plan. Louise is the best. Oh no, your own name. Fair enough. Just my name. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent painting, Louise. <laughs> That's such a bad job. So the walk between where we came up um, to the top of the castle hill and now we're going over to Fisherman's Bastion and Matthias Church and it's such a pretty walk with all these like cherry blossom trees uh, and the birds, it's really peaceful apart from those sirens. Um, but yeah, so walking around like castle um, area of town, lots of people have recommended to me and I can definitely see why because it's really, really sweet. So out of all the recommendations that you guys sent me, amazingly, this is the most highly recommended thing, is this 
um, cafe to get pastries. So hopefully it's gonna live up to the hype. So the famous thing that you're supposed to get um, is like a cream cake. I'm not super into cream cake, although I'm sure it's amazing. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Um, so instead I've got a cherry strudel, which is very highly recommended by my friends. So hopefully it's gonna be awesome. And we even managed to get a table. All the staff here are really helpful. So um, they'll definitely try and get you seated if they can. Bastion photo that everybody likes to get. We've got ours. So there's a restaurant here like on the Bastion wall that looks amazing that overlooks the water. So if you're looking to propose to someone or have a really fancy day, I don't know what the prices are like or if you can get a reservation but it looks beautiful so I would highly recommend that. You can definitely see why this is probably the most popular like thing to do and Instagram thing to see in Budapest. It's totally beautiful. It's very photogenic. It's like amazing medieval castle that you can just walk around but it's also perfectly preserved, very clean. It kind of feels like a Disney set. It's just awesome. Um, but of course it is very busy. So if you can come on a weekday or you can come like close to sunset like us, it's quite a bit quieter than it was a few hours ago. Um, but yeah, highly recommend Fisherman's Bastion and this gorgeous church as well. <laughs> <laughs> so before I come to somewhere I always research for Instagram like inspiration for spots that are good that other people have found but sometimes you have to just find a spot that only suits you so we found one for Kathy which was like totally her aesthetic um, and then we found this one which I love and it's just a bit different to the ones that everybody else has um, I mean I took all the classics as well of course but it's nice to have one that you feel like it's just your little spot in Budapest so this is my spot you can copy it if you like So we've got some cute pictures with Parliament. The Parliament building here is so impressive. It's really, really cool and it's nice that it's right on the river so you can see it from like so many different places. Um, and now we're walking across to one of the river bars to have a kind of sunset drink, maybe some dinner. Lots of people have recommended to me to have sunset on the river. So we're not gonna do a night boat cruise, um, but lots of people recommended it. So if you want to do that, you get to see everything lit up at night. Some of them have dinner included, although apparently the dinner's not very good. Um, but yeah, that's another option if you have some time here, but we're just going to sit and have a look at the monuments. but my meal was still only 15 euros, so by like English standards, it's totally fine. And um, the people who were sat next to us said that their um, waiter on their cruise was from Budapest and said this was one of the best restaurants in town. So it comes highly recommended, even from a local and from me. Every time I'm looking awake, you know, high tide and I want to see it grow. You know that you're looking out for me. You know I'm trying to agree before the sun goes high, before the morning glow. So we had a lovely brunch. I would definitely recommend that place. They do all kinds of like eggs benedict and yogurt muesli and all that stuff. So we kind of wish that we went there every day to try all the different menu, but I had avocado toast today because I am hashtag basic. Um, and now we have come down to the river again to see Shoes on the Danube, which is um, like a memorial to um, the Holocaust victims that happened here. So that's gonna be really interesting to see see it looks pretty busy already um, and then we're also going to see Parliament which is right behind me yesterday we saw it from across the river but today we're going to see it face to face so if you don't know the story of this memorial um, people here Jews when they were being killed in the Holocaust were told to stand on the edge of the river take their shoes off and be pushed in or jump into the water um, and I actually find this one way more moving than other memorials I mean they're always moving obviously um, but this one because all the shoes you can see the kind of different personality it makes it feel 
way more real you can like imagine all the individuals and just such a like scary crazy time um, so yeah I think this is a really moving one I would definitely recommend coming to have a look um, it's free there's a lot of people here um, but it's nice to see so many people still engaging in things and I really like memorials that are kind of interactive and really powerful like that and kind of can speak to you in all different ways so that is Shoes on the Danube definitely recommend checking it out now we're gonna walk just two meters along you can see it there um, to have a look at the park. So this is the Parliament building. I would definitely recommend coming round from the river to the front here because you get this lovely like garden view and it's very beautiful. Um, we did a bit of fun fact googling so apparently this is the tallest building in Budapest which makes sense because yesterday when I was saying looking out over the view the whole city looked really flat which I quite like and then it's the largest building in Hungary um, and it's 96 meters tall because apparently 96 is a like kind of auspicious poignant number in Hungarian history um, so yeah I like that they've thought all these things through there's loads of cool sculptures very detailed um, and yeah the Parliament is pretty cool so come have a look and then there's also this other building on the opposite side which I don't know what it is but I feel like it's the sad sibling no one's looking at it but I think it's awesome so we've come over now to Margaret Island which apparently is a nice place to like walk around have a picnic um, and it's quite a local thing to do I think to hang out here on a weekend and to get here you just walk along Margaret Bridge and then there's a little tiny adjoining bit so you can reach it without coming on a boat which is nice and convenient and when I was researching yesterday things to do here there is apparently a Japanese garden a rose garden there's also actually a spa like the baths the same as we did yesterday um, and this one's only a fiver so I mean it's obviously not as fancy or as famous but it does look really nice if you want just like a day chilling out um, kind of sunbathing and relaxing um, and then the other thing that I saw on my like things to do was to rent some kind of transport because there is a train there's bicycles there's these weird like like four person kind of pedal bicycles and um, there's little motorized like bubble cars there's lots of different ways to get around um, I think we'll probably choose the most hilarious method when the wind blows high if the rain stays low and we're losing time before you know so we are going to get one of the adorable red like vintage pedal bike things they look so cute and so hilarious um, and you pay by half an hour or the hour an hour is about 15 pounds so like 20 dollars um, so let's go on a cycling adventure <laughs> <laughs> and very much led another family this wrong way. We just went over cobblestones, down some stairs, in the bushes. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. If we just run over a rock, we still got all the wheels. All the wheels. See, look how lovely this is now. Well, I saw another one down there though. I think we're supposed to be down there. Although this, oh no, here. This yeah. is the route. We got steps, but look at this pathway. This is the route. Okay. She's so confident. This is the route. <laughs> So we survived the bicycle adventure. There are much cheaper ways, like just the rental bikes, but it was so much fun. And now we're just in time for the fountain display. So we found a couple of little like beer garden type places um, and we've chosen this one, which is Hippie Island and it looks excellent, very excellent. So we're back in the city, we're kind of finishing off the bits of touristy things that we need to do. So this is St. Stephen's Basilica, and then I have got my postcard, which I always get in each place to write some cute memories on. And we're gonna explore this really nice area by St. Stephen's, which is kind of like a bit pedestrianized and nice. It's, it's Easter Monday today, so lots of things are closed, but this all seems to be open. And then we need to find somewhere good to go out for dinner. <laughs> Good morning, 
morning guys today is our last day in budapest kathy has already left this morning because she has a job and it's a tuesday so she has to get back to work um but i'm gonna do a quick run round and check out a couple of things that we couldn't see um because they were closed for the bank holiday um and then i'm gonna go and get my flight back to gran canaria so the first thing on my list that i haven't managed to do is have chimney cake and i'm very excited to have it for breakfast this morning i've got my chimney cake they come in lots of different flavors but i've heard that the classic cinnamon is the best let me show you they make it on these like giant rolling pins that they kind of put it around and like toast it almost like a kebab it looks really good i think it's gonna be very sweet almost tastes a little bit raisiny maybe because of the cinnamon it's very good this is gonna be a perfect healthy holiday breakfast so there are a couple of things that we haven't managed to see on our long weekend i'm going to include in the description box all the things that were on my list that we haven't managed to get to most of them are restaurants people recommended me restaurants cafes bars all that kind of stuff um because we've been kind of just going to wherever is convenient and looks nice um but next i'm coming to the library which i've been so looking forward to because it looks stunning very like amazing beauty and the beast i think you have to pay to get in um if you're not like a library card holder which i think is totally fair enough it's about two dollars i think so it's hardly anything i'm very excited to see inside and it's actually raining so if i can i might stay and do some work no mad life library was pretty beautiful she didn't charge me a ticket price she said today was free i don't know whether that's because of easter or because she didn't understand what i was asking but anyway she let me in for free so that was nice um you have to be pretty ballsy to take an instagram in there because everybody's like working it's a normal library so it's kind of silent um so i ended up just taking a little bit of video footage on my phone and then i sat down and did some work for a while i couldn't get on the wi-fi but i just hot spotted from my phone it's such a nice place to work um most of the library is just a normal library it's got like four or five floors just you know normal library and then kind of around the back on the third or fourth floor that's where the amazing room is um and there is a second older room which i think might be called the palace which she said was closed today but it was like the gold one with the chandeliers was the one that i really wanted to see i did actually just want to add as well that pretty much everyone in there seemed like a student so i imagine if you came at like 8 or 9 a.m instead of two o'clock while i'm here it would probably be totally deserted because let's be honest they're going to be in bed so now i'm going to go and see the inside of st stephen's basilica because apparently it's free and we didn't manage to have time on the other couple of days Really, really lovely and i saw outside that they also do um concerts that you can book so i definitely recommend looking into that i leave today so i can't come this evening but if you have a spare evening i bet this will be really amazing for like an organ recital i went to for sale pub um but there was a queue to get in which i'm not gonna do but i am here at two o'clock so it's probably like prime time for lunch so maybe if you came like in the middle of the afternoon or something there probably wouldn't be a wait um but i will include a picture up here of what it looks like inside anyways so you can decide for yourself it does seem pretty cool i imagine the service is not great because it's probably hectic in there all of the time um so i'm gonna try and find somewhere for lunch now so i just had lunch in balls on the recommendation of my friend sarah um, and it was so good um it was kind of fancy but everything here is so cheap i think my meal i had a salad and a sparkling water was like seven pound fifty so like ten dollars um so yeah highly recommend the interior was this like gorgeous art deco i just want to decorate my whole house like that i absolutely loved it it was 
very like beautiful 1920s gold and plants and the service was excellent everyone was super friendly so thank you very much to everyone who has sent me recommendations for this weekend you guys have all been amazing and I hope this video is going to help you back um, I wanted to also add I always like to know how to say thank you in each country so if you want to know how to say thank you here it is Kosa Nom and everyone seems to really appreciate it when you manage to say something in Hungarian because I'm sure the language is reasonably challenging and most tourists don't know it um, but now I am all done in Budapest, so I'm going to head to the airport. I'm going to get the 100E, which um, is a bus. And I think it's only about $3. It's really cheap, and it goes right from most central places in the city. It goes right from our apartment if you end up booking the same one as me. Um, and the only thing that I would say is that you need to get there quite early for whichever bus you intend to take, because Kathy said this morning she got the earliest bus in the morning. It was about 3 a.m., and she said a lot of people didn't manage to get on because it was so popular because it's such a good deal because if you don't get the bus then you have to get a taxi um, and that's about 40 pounds so you don't want to be doing that um, so yeah make sure you get there nice and early to your bus stop but that's what I'm gonna do it takes about an hour goes all the way out straight direct to the airport and so I guess that's gonna be it for this video I have had the best time in Budapest this is my first time in Hungary but I'm definitely gonna be back I want to go and see some places outside of the capital, um, although actually amusingly someone did tell me that the next biggest um, population of Hungarians outside of Budapest is London. <laughs> There's no city in Hungary as big as the population of Hungarians in London, which is pretty entertaining. Um, but still I would love to explore this country a bit more, so I'm sure I'll be back. If you're Hungarian and watching this, then please let me know where's good, because I know I quite often get local viewers watching my travel vlogs which is really fun um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you found some interesting gems on this vlog um i've had the best time and i would highly recommend that you come and visit um and while you're at it don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in next week's video have a great week bye